Hello there guys and welcome to our ninth Java game programming tutorial. Today's tutorial we're gonna go ahead and define the draw ship function, which we mentioned in our previous tutorial and, and it's located in upside, uh, inside our update graphics. So every time we call that function, we want to uh, draw the ship in the location uh, this uh, basically um, here uh, desired, or, or basically like in, in in the location where the ship is uh, is located at, at that current moment in in time. So. We're gonna go ahead and uh, for this tutorial we're gonna go ahead and define the draw ship and then uh, in function the next tutorial we're gonna do the draw bullets and the third after that we're gonna do the draw asteroids. That's just um, what's uh, just giving you and basically uh, what's will be coming in the future tutorials. Basically a glimpse of what's coming on later. So to go ahead and start it, guys, if you didn't watch the previous tutorial, guys, you must watch those in order for you to understand what's going on in this tutorial and not be left behind. So. Go ahead and watch those, and if you have uh, if you haven't done so already, and pause this video, and then you can resume this. Um, so to waste no more time, let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. And I'm gonna start it by putting a comment here and saying draw ship, which will be the function. Uh, draw ship is called or draw ship is called in the update. The applets, I'm saying the applet update event. So this will be called up here basically in this function. Let's start by typing public void draw ship. And inside of here, let's start by typing graphics 2D, G2D, and set transform. Alright, set transform, and then we're gonna do the identity. Alright, and now that we have the identity, next what I want to do is g2d dot, and what I want to do is translate, so let's go ahead and type translate there, and inside of here we're going to type player ship, so we want to get the x and y locations, so player ship get x and then player ship get y. So here in the draw, we, we want we want to get the new location where the ship is located, the x and y coordinates, and then draw the ship in that location, basically. So once the once the uh, update events basically calls the draw function or the yeah the draw ship function, then uh, the ship will be one, once the ship is drawn again. We want basically the graphics are displayed in the screen so the user can view them. They will be displayed in the new location. That way we can we can achieve the illusion of of the, of the ship basically moving across the screen instead of just you know. Hello. So let's go ahead and type G two and then we're gonna do rotate. Inside of here we're gonna do math and then we're gonna do two radians. So we wanna be using radians here, not degrees. And let's type player ship get face angle. So here we're gonna basically we want to we want to get where the ship is facing basically the tip of the ship where the bullets are gonna be coming out of. And next let's go ahead and type G2D and let's set the color here. This will be the color of our ship. So this you guys you can make any color you wish. Let's just try orange in this case I guess. Orange would be fine. Or, but you can try any color. And let me let's next we we'll type G2D and what we're gonna do is fill and player ship dot get shape. What this will do is up here is basically this will um, this will set the color to orange and then 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 it will get the ship basically which is the shape of the ship this comes from the, from our class here the ship which is defined by this transform here and then you will draw that and, and, you, and you will fill that with orange so basically we will be so the user will be able to view the ship so this was basically our tutorial for today basically defining the draw ship class what this does is draws the ship um, gets its location gets where the gets the uh, which face angle where which way the uh, which way the ship is facing and also uh, fills uh, and draws the ship basically basically in in, the in our case here or in my case uh, in, uh, using an orange color so thank you for watching this tutorial guys and if you
and please leave comments with any concerns or suggestions you guys have rate the videos guys and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel it truly means a lot and it gives me a lot of feedback uh, in in a way which um, that I, I know if you guys like the videos or you don't so thank you for watching again don't forget to subscribe guys and our next tutorial will be will be defining our draw bullets class so thank you for watching and stick around for more